you had asked me when I graduated from college if I would be moving to the Dominican Republic for seven years, I would have thought you were crazy. But being here has been one of the best experiences of my life. I have learned so much about myself and my passions. Most of all, I've been surprised by how much God provides, um, by how much I really care for um, and want to invest in the families and students I've known here for long term. And also just by how much this school can impact this country. Dulos is located in the Dominican Republic and serves the Dominican population of our community in Jarabacoa. As a Dominican school, our desire is to engage local leadership and prepare our students to lead and impact within in the Dominican Republic. We believe that leaders come from all socioeconomic backgrounds. In a country where people are often isolated from one another based on income level, we attempt to bridge the gap by educating students of mixed financial backgrounds together to build lasting relationships. I'm Alex Rick. Uh, my role at Dulos Discovery School this year has been PE teacher. I stepped into the PE position this year. There was an unexpected opening and so I filled that this year. It was challenging um, at first, but it grew to be very rewarding um, getting to know all of the students and all the staff here. I had one student, um, his name was Powell, at first he was a very challenging student for me. He had lots of anger issues and wanted to show off for his classmates a lot, and um, it was very hard for me to work with him in the beginning of the year, but as I developed a relationship with him and we worked on different things. He has grown to be a significant leader in the class and it's been wonderful just to be a part of that experience of growing up a young leader in just a fourth grade elementary class and to see how he, his heart can change from just anger and being a little bit just crazy <laughs> and seeing him become just a great leader and a good child of God. Our mission, educating and equipping servant leaders through Christian discipleship and expeditionary learning to impact the Dominican Republic. What well, called me to do this was one, I just, I really loved the mission statement of wanting to provide education to students so that they can change the country. So it's not just us coming in and trying, trying to change, but really um, creating leaders from inside the country. And so I think, I mean, the Dominican Republic is just a beautiful place, but also the people are so loving and kind, and I loved the idea of, um, of giving my life to help change. Dulos Discovery School empowers students with a high-quality college readiness program that cultivates both preparedness for and perspective on college. Our desire is for students to be academically, socially, and spiritually equipped for higher education at an institution of their choosing. We place a strong emphasis on leadership through service. Our desire is that our students yield their lives in worship to God, which leads to serving Him and others. At Dulos, we lead using our power, authority, and influence to love and serve others because Jesus first loved and served us. Our leadership humbly guides self and others toward becoming more like Jesus Christ and place the interests of others above our own interests. That's one of our goals as a school is we want to mold their heart to be a servant leader, which means they not only, yes, lead their country, but do it like Christ did. And it's been amazing to see kids who have been here long term are really getting that mission and wanting, so I have some girls who are 10th graders who are now leading a sixth grade Bible study because they want to impact and develop the younger girls' hearts.
believe that children learn best by doing. We're committed to using inquiry-based instructional methods in all grades, preschool through high school. We inspire our students to be engaged and self-motivated learners by fostering students' learning through fieldwork, experts, meaningful concepts, product creation, and service. We were able to take a trip to Pico Duarte, which is the highest mountain in the Caribbean, and we hiked that with our ninth graders. And uh, just super intentional time with those guys, um, just spending good, good quality time, investing in their life. We had a lot of hardships because we were hiking a big mountain, but uh, we had a lot of fun moments. And uh, we were tired, we were physically worn out, um, but it was fun. It was a fun experience. Dulos is dedicated to Christian discipleship. We look to exalt Christ in every opportunity, teaching students how to be his disciples in every aspect of life, including academically. Anything that can be studied can only be well known if we know well our Creator. Um, it's been a huge blessing in my life to be a part of this community and to get to work with the second graders, um, but not only them, their families, and also the staff here. This year it's been fun to watch Robert grow. He came in at the beginning of the year not really reading very much, and now he's reading first grade books, and when he takes a test, he gets really excited and says, I can do this, so that's been fun to see. One of my favorite parts about being here is the relationships. Uh, I just love the long-term relationships I've been able to build with students, um, especially the Bible study that I have with my first group of students. And that's, that's the reason that I feel like God has called both me and my husband to be here long-term, is we see the beauty and power in continually pouring into a student's life and being there for the small things and the big things. At one point I decided that I wanted to stick with Dulos long term. I wanted to support and be involved in Dulos for the rest of my life. And so I decided that I wanted to do part of that by sponsoring a student from kind of the start of pre-K 3 or pre-K 4 and then all the way till their graduation. And so I started last year thinking about what student I wanted to sponsor. There were some that were open. They had about maybe 12 kids that didn't have any sponsors yet. I do those. We accept kids before they necessarily have sponsors because we want them to start school and then we continue to look for their sponsors. So I saw the list and um, there were several students on it that I loved and I was teaching pre-K-3 library and um, Valu stuck out though. Valu um, was, had a really sad first day of pre-K-3 last year and he cried the whole day. It was just this tiny little baby. Um, he, he was obviously three or two at that point but um, he just was very sad and so I got to hold Valu as I was kind of helping after I was in the library position. I kind of helped with pre-K-3 on their first day and ended up getting to cuddle and um, console this little guy. And so I knew that I um, had a special connection with him and that memory would stay that way forever. So I decided to um, join Valu's family in sponsoring him at Dulos. And it's been a wonderful journey um, of being able to, he's a pretty shy little guy, and uh, being able to support him and get to know his family a little bit and see him grow into this almost kindergarten um, Kid, and so I'm excited to um, continue to keep in touch with him and receive receive cards from him and receive updates and send him um, family updates and maybe get to, to communicate a little bit and come back and visit and then eventually be able to be here for his graduation in I think 2030 I think. We need um, people who are willing to invest and love on students and 
I'm just really thankful that I've been able to be a part of that in my time here.